Sanderton. Travelling home to Sanderton, Mr and Mrs Parker overturn their carriage on a steep hill. A friendly gentleman farmer, Mr Hayward, comes to their rescue. To thank him, the Parkers invite his daughter Charlotte, a very pleasing young woman of two and twenty, for a summer visit to Sanderton, a fictitious fishing village on the south coast of England. The seaside holiday was invented in the 18th century. Sea bathing was believed to cure many diseases. Lady bathers swam from bathing machines, huts wheeled into the sea. Jane Austen was a keen bather and found the swimming at Lyme Regis in Devon delightful. Mr Parker and the local great lady, Lady Denham, have big plans to develop Sanderton into a resort to rival its fashionable neighbour Brighton. Together they are investing in amenities to attract genteel visitors. A library, a hotel, a billiard room, fancy shops and modern houses, but the resort is still only half built. Mr Parker is a fantasist, Lady Denham is a ruthless speculator. A rich widow of 70 and in robust health, she means to exploit the illness, real and imaginary, that brings others to the sea. Her heirs circle round, currying favour. Penniless Sir Edward Denham thinks he's God's gift to women. His peevish sister, Miss Denham, has been pushed out by a new favourite, Clara Brereton. Clara is a beautiful and vulnerable, yet poor, relation from London. Sir Edward models himself on the anti-heroes in the pulp fiction in the local library, and he means to seduce Clara. What woman could resist him? In Sanderton, her last novel, Austen switches focus from settled village life to a more fluid social scene. The visitors who drift to the seaside outnumber local residents. Fat boy Arthur Parker stuffs his face and coddles himself by the fire. His busybody sisters, Susan and Diana, fancy they are ill and self-prescribe alarming remedies. The mixed-race heiress, Miss Lamb, chilly and tender, is a delicate hothouse flower transported from the West Indies. Last on the scene, Sidney Parker whirls into town in his smart carriage. Seven or eight and twenty, very good-looking, with a decided air of ease and fashion. Sanderton reads like a detective story, and Charlotte Hayward is a young Miss Marple. Like the reader, she must work out how this strange collection of people connect with one another. Sanderton was left unfinished in 1817 after only 12 chapters. Writing a tale of people who imagine they are ill, Jane Austen herself was dying. But she did not stop experimenting. Sanderton is a new kind of novel. Looking out to sea, Austin is looking to new beginnings and to new possibilities for her comic genius.